Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome to another episode of Rusty Rogers Road to the Show here on MLB 15. The show, the ALCS, has arrived. The Yankees and the Red Sox, one of the most hated rivals in the MLB, and they're going head to head. The winner goes to the World Series. Here is the Red Sox, finished just below the Yankees in the standings in the AL East. Here is their team, pitching, relievers, all that good stuff. But I just have to tell you, I am really excited for this series. Not just because we're facing the Red Sox, but because I am excited to see if Rusty Rogers can have a little bit of a mini comeback. Now, if you didn't see the NL or the ALDS, quick spoiler alert. First of all, go watch it. Second of all, quick spoiler alert. He did not get a hit the entire series. It was awful. So, I don't know if that was just some bad luck or what, but uh, basically, he hasn't got a hit yet, and they're going to need him, this ALCS. They got away with it in the ALDS, but the ALCS is a different story. The Red Sox won the wild card game against the Rays, and then they swept the Angels in the ALDS. ALCS game number one coming here at you from the Bronx, Yankee Stadium. Like I said, a very good rivalry between these two teams, and they hate each other. The winner goes to the World Series, the loser will have their season ended. So this is going to be a tough one. Like I said, Rusty is really going to need to come up big. You see the team info and players to watch for both sides. Dustin Pedroia, David Ortiz, you know the usual. And this guy right here, Rusty Rogers, you see, has not got a hit or anything this postseason. Can that change now? Yes, it will. Base hit up the middle. That is the start we needed. The first hit of the postseason for Rusty Rogers comes in his first at-bat of the ALCS. So an excellent job there. He needed that big time. We skip forward to the top of the six now. I'm going to be showing you guys every single game. This video is a bit long, so strap in, get ready, as we are already over two minutes in. But you see there Rusty making a nice play in the field. Last time, last series, he did not do very well at-bat, but uh, when it came to the fielding, he did very good. 4-2 now. Boston's leading in the bottom of the seventh. Base is empty. Rusty's taking this one deep into center. Well hit, but it's going to be right there for the center fielder, Mookie Betts, for the Red Sox. He'll get 21 points for that at bat, but no cigar. Red Sox take game one, 4-3. to three. Rusty goes 1-5. for five. Sadly enough, I will take 1-5. for 1-5 for five is better than 0-5. for five. So he gets his first base hit. That's out of the way. Now it's time to start playing like Rusty Rogers can play like. Remember, he only got a month of action in the MLB and now he's already in the playoffs, so he's a rookie getting thrown into a very tough situation. Didn't really deal with it well in the ALDS, but hopefully he can do so in the ALCS as we jump into game number two here at Yankee Stadium. Red Sox lead 1-0. Yankees trying to knock this series up at one as we will head to Boston after this game, but we got some work to take care of. Here comes Rusty up to the plate. Like I said, uh, only one hit so far in the postseason, but that's okay. Runner on first, and Rusty is taking this one into center for a base hit. So both games, he gets the base hit in his first at-bat. Both of them up the middle, and now there's runners on first and second for the Yankees. We'll get 33 points for the at-bat, and he is looking good. Base is loaded now. Yankees up 2-0. This could be a good insurance run here in the fourth. Rusty up to bat. Here's the 1-0 pitch, and it is hit over to the shortstop, and that is not what we wanted to do there. Man, that hopefully that won't come back to hurt us. And the Red Sox score runs. So now it's 2-1 here in the 7th with the runner on first. No outs. First pitch of the at-bat is hit into right. Oh, my gosh. This just shows you how bad Rusty's luck is. The catch is made by Shane Victorino in right. That should have fallen for a base hit. But he stops him. Wow. Nevertheless, Rusty's in the field making the play, and that is how it is done. 24 points for the feeling opportunity. He's not going to let some bad luck get him down. But he will still only get one hit. Yankees hang on and win 2-1. to CC Sabathia with the win and Rick Porcello with the loss. Rusty goes 1-4. for four, Better than 1-5, for five, I guess. But uh, let's try to get a multi-hit game here as the series shifts to Boston. For game number three here at Fenway Park. A very historical park with crazy dimensions. We will see as the series is all tied up at 1. 
as the winner will be two wins away from a World Series. Here we go, Rusty Rogers up to bat, bottom one. He needs to get more than one hit this game. That is our goal. No one on base, one out, full count pitch to Rusty and he is striking out on the low sinker there. Ouch, um, yeah. He actually hasn't struck out this year. That was the first strikeout of the postseason for Rusty, which is good. Like to see some patience. Boston's up 2-0 here later in the game. Rusty's in the field making the plays look easy. 16 points for that fielding opportunity. As he will go back to the dugout. And now he's back out. Boston up 4-0 though. Already in the fourth. We're already down by four. Not good there. Rusty's up to bat though. And he is hitting this one up the middle. Third base hit of the postseason and of the series obviously. All three of them have been up the middle. That's crazy. So 24 points for that fielding opportunity. As he will come back in. With runners on the corners and two outs here in the bottom uh, or the top of the fifth. Red Sox still up 4 0. 1 0 pitch to Rusty is hit. And that is going to fall in the gap. That's going to fall to the wall. Rusty is rounding first. He is going to second. He will stop. And that is a two RBI double for Rusty Rogers. Excellent job there. So his first two hit game of the postseason and of his career. And it's a big one. Cuts Boston's lead in half. He's in the field now. And what a play this is. And they turn the double play. Excellent job there by Rusty. I thought that was going to go into the outfield through the hole, but he makes the play to second to start the double play, and then they finish it. So it's still 4-2 here in the top of the seventh. Runner on first with no one out for Rusty. He's hitting this one, and that is going to fall. That is to the wall. Rusty has a runner coming home. He is going to try for three. He is safe. That is an RBI triple for Rusty Rogers. 33 points for the at-bat. He is smoking hot right now. He gets his first multi-hit game of this postseason. And he is a home run shy of the cycle, folks. A single, then a double, now a triple. Excellent job there. Unfortunately, we still allow eight runs and lose the game eight to five. Rusty goes three for five, though, with two runs, a double, triple, single, and multiple RBIs there. Unfortunately, though, they are down big time. 2-1 to one here, and this Red Sox, these fans are ready to go, trying to uh, get them one win closer to the World Series. If they win this one, they will go back to the Bronx and look to finish it. We will see. As Actually, no. I forgot. Baseball is set up. They have games uh, 3, 4, and 5 at the um, non-home field advantage team's home field. I don't like that rule. Anyways, Rusty doesn't care. He's in the field. Getting that out. Shane Victorino is retired. 16 points for the fielding opportunity. 6-0 Boston after three innings. Actually, after two innings because this is the top of the third. Oh my goodness. Rusty doesn't care though. He is so hot right now. It's ridiculous. Nowhere to be found in the ALDS, but he is the Yankees' best player arguably in the ALCS. 60 points for that. I've had an RBI double. We will take it. 10 to 2. Where is our defense? Where is our pitching? This is awful. Rusty's doing good in the field. He's doing good at bat. He's doing good at everything right now, but his team is not helping him out. We get a couple runs back. Down by 6, 10-4 in the top of the 7th. Runner on third with a with one out. This is high. This is deep. It's not gone, but it is deep enough so the runner from third will tag easily and score. So now it's 10-5. But, oh, man, we have scored five runs. We're still down by five. So we'll get 24 points for that sack fly to right as now it's 10-6. Okay, we're getting closer, but we have one out to go here in the game with the runner on first. Rusty's up to bat, and he's chopping that one in front of Koji Uehara. And he's not going to make a mistake. They retire Rusty, and the Red Sox have a 3-1 series lead. This is not good, folks. Rusty, like I said, arguably the best player for the Yankees. They just... They score six runs, and they still lose by four. Ten runs allowed, unacceptable, and as a result, they lose the second straight game and the third of the series. So we will go to game number five, still here at Fenway Park, and this is a must-win for the Yankees. This is officially a must-win. Last game, we wanted to win. We didn't. Now we have to win. If we lose, the Red Sox go to the World Series. If we win, we go back to the Bronx with a 3-2 series deficit. Here we go. Hitting 333 here in the ALCS is Rusty. 
He's doing an awesome job. Can he continue it here with his first at bat of the game? It is hit and it is fair and it is going to drop for a hit. That is not pretty, but he will take it. A bloop single to left and he'll get six points for the base hit in the at bats. And now he comes back in one for one, top of the third. No score so far with runners on first and second and no one out. First pitch of the at bat is ripped to right. He's not going to get a double out of this because of the dimensions, but he is going to get an RBI now with runners at the corner. So the runner from second comes home and scores. And the Yankees are up 5-2. to two. Good to see. Base is loaded now for Rusty. Two for four on the ninth, top of the eighth. And he hits this one deep into right. That has a chance. No, it doesn't. Not even close. That's a shame. He flies out to right, and that is not going to score runs. With the bases loaded, he's 0 for 2 so far in the series. 5 to 3 now. Come on, we need to turn this double play. And we do. Game over. 24 points for the fielding opportunity. The Yankees come up big here. Score 8, or not 8 runs, 5 runs, I think. And they beat the Red Sox, and we are headed back to the Bronx with another day in the MLB. This is as good as it gets, guys. Yankees win 5-3, and like I said, the series is now 3-2, and we'll shift to game number 6. Another do-or-die game for the Yankees, this time in front of their home crowd in New York at Yankees Stadium. This is a um, pretty big game for Rusty. It was big last game, but it's even bigger this game in front of the home crowd, so we got to give it our all. we got to force a Game 7 here and go to the World Series. Oh, come on. We need this. We need this badly. Let's go. First at bat. For Rusty this game, one out, base is empty, bottom one. He is the hottest player for the Yankees in the ALCS. And he continues that. Hanley Ramirez cannot dive and make the outstanding catch in right. Rusty's going to try for three, and he will make it standing up. A stand-up triple for Rusty Rogers. Excellent job there. He hits this one to right. I thought his luck was going to... Um, turn to the worst again and we got a little lucky there as the catch is missed just barely by Ramirez that rolls all the way to the wall and Rusty finds himself with a stand-up triple and regardless of that the Red Sox still score they're up one nothing but check out this ending ending flip over to second Didi Gregorius making the catch Rusty gets 16 points for the feeling opportunity and now he's up one for three in the eighth inning runner on first one out two one pitch is hit over to short and that is it. 27 points for the at-bat. Not good. The Yankees need a run against the Red Sox. Down 1-0 here with one in inning to go. But unfortunately, guys, that run never comes. We lose this game 1-0. The one time our pitching only allows one run, we don't score any. Clay Buckles with the win. Tanaka with the loss. Iwahara with a save. And the season is over for the New York Yankees. Disappointing. We got one game back, but we couldn't get two more as... The Boston Red Sox are headed to the World Series either against the Cardinals or the Pirates. Next episode, you will see the offseason for Rusty Rogers, the things he does, the things he improves on, what happened in the playoffs with the Red Sox. Ah, that's unfortunate, guys. I really hope you did enjoy, though. It was a good series, well fought. Hopefully, um, the Red Sox lose because we don't like them. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,